Well, today I thought I would just uh, go over my boat and see how uh, I have my boat set up for crappy fishing. I uh, pulled it off the lift today and uh, cleaned it up a little bit after the storms that we had this past weekend. Anyway, I was mainly always bass fished and I'm just now starting to uh, convert over to crappy fishing. Uh, I haven't been doing crappy fishing very long, but uh, I'm enjoying crappy fishing um, just as much, if not more, than bass fishing. I wanted to uh, convert it over to uh, make it better for crappy fishing. So there was just a few things that I've added. Um, I'll go over everything that I've added for crappy fishing and everything that's already on the boat. And uh, we'll start with the uh, back of the boat and work our way up to the front of the boat and I'll show you some things. It's a Ranger uh, Z520 2017 with a uh, Yamaha uh, 250 show. I've got the Tough Skins cover on it that you can run. It's got vents on the motor where you can just leave it on all the time where the motor can breathe. And basically, um, you just leave it on. I've got a Bob's Action Jack jack plate that has the pump that's on the outside of the jack plate. This is the second one I've had. I really like Bob's. I've also got talons. These are the 12 foot, uh, 12 foot talons, uh, Bluetooth talons. I believe it's the newest version. Uh, I've had them about two years now. That's the newest version that they had. Uh, they work really well. All right. Into the back of the boat. All right, right now I've gone with lithium for my cranking battery. I'm trying that one out and I've had it probably for about six months and it has worked really well. The lithium, uh, before I got the lithium, I believe I had a group 31 and it just couldn't run all the electronics. On the Solexes, they, they eat up a lot of, uh, of uh, battery and uh, was just, just giving me all kinds of alarms, uh, low voltage alarms when I crank the engine. And uh, since I've gone with lithium, uh, this battery has just been great. It's Ionix. Um, they, they're out of Mooresville, North Carolina, and it's the large cranking battery and the trolling motor batteries right now is the same ones I'm running when I bought the boat new um, and they're interstates as soon as those batteries go which they're about ready I'm going to go all lithium ionics uh, I like the Bluetooth app that they have uh, where you can see everything on your uh, phone and tell how charged they are but that cranking battery is awesome uh, it's got the Precision uh, Minn Kota charger that came with it from uh, Ranger, which it, it works on charging lithium uh, batteries as well. Live well, two side compartments. All right, here up front, that's a 15 inch uh, Solex, Hummingbird Solex SI Gen 2. I also have the jack plate uh, gauge to tell the position of the jack plate. And I've always run a flasher. I still love a flasher when I'm trying to locate uh, schools of bait really fast. Um, I've, I always have always used a flasher. I still don't want to get rid of it. Uh, right now I'm having to run the uh, Vexilar FL10 because it's hard to find anything else that'll go inside of the dash. And uh, Vexilar works really well. All right, what I've added for crappy fishing is the, the 
bike seat that's there I usually just use that when I'm putting my tarp over it so uh, to keep support on it uh, that usually comes out it's just I have it in there right now is what I added was this heavy-duty American-made custom uh, double seat uh, it's pronounced double seat um, but it's all aluminum uh, heavy-duty everything's adjustable in and out um, both seats uh, also have the holder where you can put you know whatever you're wanting to use for you can put drinks or anything in here anything anything that you want to use you also for an umbrella holder if you want to put an umbrella in there uh, it has an umbrella holder um, as well but uh, I started out using the other there's some other other brand uh, I don't bash other people's brands uh, it, it you know it just uh, I used it for a trip or two and it just it didn't uh, it just moved a little bit more than what I want it to move uh, when we sat down in the seats and it only had three three legs uh, for support on here and he puts four on his um, so the other one was nice I only used it I believe one trip and uh, it was made in China and I wasn't wasn't real happy with 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 the the quality of it looked really nice but it just it just isn't as sturdy as this one right here and I know this one here is a little bit more money than what you would pay for that Chinese version uh, but it's well worth every penny I've paid for it um, instead of going with the uh, the standard seats that everybody uses from that same company uh, that makes the that uh, double seat uh, is I went with the American made seats uh, I just like these better I didn't want that strap on them to buy wise marine and if I believe if I'm not mistaken they're actually the ones who actually have the patent on that seat and invented that seat um, also my Bluetooth talon switch hydrowave uh, this is for bass I do not have one for crappy uh, right now don't know if it if it would work on crappy or not but it tends to generate a little bit more bait on on the, on the bass fish um, also go go back to my electronics I have a 12 inch Solex Humminbird side imaging unit here gen 2 I've got the the uh, Garmin uh, I believe it's the 1224 XSV I'm not for sure on the model but it's the the 1224 um, unit with the uh, live scope Garmin live scope but that this Garmin unit is really nice um, I like the map versions um, they they'll record uh, and do do a little bit more than what the ultras and stuff will do uh, the, the map series does and uh, haven't haven't started recording with it yet but i think i'm going to make some videos with that here in the future um got an old trex trolling motor right here i want to show you here's my side hummingbird side imaging transducer um here's my down image just just my regular 2d uh that's that, that i use universal and actually i've just got it to the garmin because when i bought the purchase the garmin i purchased it with no transducers because uh, I was only using that for the uh, Solex screen. And right here is my uh, uh, Garmin uh, live scope. Uh, here's my hydrowave on my trolling motor. And I also run a Humminbird Mega 360, and that thing's awesome. Uh, every, every, every boat I'm going to have is always going to have that. It works really well along with the, uh, the live scope. But... I guess if I had a pick between Life Scope and Humminbird 360, I'd be a, I don't know, be a toss up. But uh, let's go back to the stand that my electronics mount. This is made by the same company, Double Seat, and uh, he makes another awesome product. This thing is set on the lowest setting right now. But it adjusts. It'll go way. It'll go up. I'm not for sure on the on, on the uh, on the 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 measurement on how high it goes up. But I mean, it goes up 20. I believe 20 some inches 
tall and also he's got knobs here i keep it loose because there's some bushings in here where you can push it forward if you want to you can do whatever you want you can see your screens i mean this mounts uh, just this mounts great i mean the mount along with his uh double seat like i said the mounts all custom made by him powder coated he'll do any color you want uh, I wanted the, the the black and silver because it kind of it matches my boat, and he also did the uh, double seat uh, to match that. This is actually called the stand, and he's also got one that's taller than that. I believe it starts out shorter, I mean taller with it all the way down, but it goes much higher uh, for that, and he calls that the grand stand. But uh, John Thomason, he's the guy who owns the company and makes this stuff and does a really good job. Uh, you can pretty much call him anytime. I mean, he's taking my call on Sundays, Saturdays. It doesn't matter uh, if you need anything. But uh, anyway, I really like his mount. It works really well. Uh, let's see. Of course, uh, I just cleaned it up a little bit. Trying to think of anything else that uh, that I have to talk about. We got the units covered. Hummingbird 360, the Ultrex, the double seat. Um, I love that trick step. Um, it lets you get you know walk right on the boat. It's it's great. That trick step just it just works great. I've had it on it since I bought this boat, and really I believe I've got my uh, antennas uh, for my uh, Ultrex and my uh, Hummingbird uh, antenna I also have one one on the back of the boat right there I've got it temporary right now I'm just kind of deciding where I'm going to put it at but everything works well I believe that's it. It's been working great for me since I've been started crappy fishing. So anyway, let me know. Thank you.